So if you enjoy life, then you should have enjoyed my teaser. And uh, here are the inside of these uh, three different um, types of motors because I recently uh, bought the two of these 250 watt. Uh, I only have small power display, uh, power supply, and they also have these uh, double uh, circuit boards. This uh, one, so I want a bit, a bit of this. Here are the technical specs. Uh, then. Then uh, out on the street, yeah. I'll show you the efficiency yeah. of uh, uh, these different uh, motors and uh, the difference between the original uh, Niklas Falt uh, firmware and this very nice um, Emanuel Peru firmware. And at last, uh, this is I really I recently found these uh, bought uh, only three dollars. It's a free build, um, and so I, I want to spend a bit on this uh, because I really am. Not that happy. Uh, I, I think um, over 5,000 uh, uh, firmware compilations uh, with my online compiler and uh, over 100 likes of my tutorial, and, and no one really telling what, what, what has he done with his firmware. And what I see is only again these stupid silly fun projects. And so, yeah, you have a job you hate, and, and therefore uh, buy and make shit you don't need. Tyler Durden. And, and so you see, um, I think it, it, this is a great uh, thing that you could build on. And, and so uh, this here is, uh, I want to uh, discuss how, how to, to mount it here on, on the outside and, and do a little bit of calculations because this uh, could be uh, could be the, the very cheap um, um, mid motor for a recumbent bike or a three wheeler or four wheeler and so it's really the chance to, that we together could build something that's for even 600 euro uh, a four wheeler three wheeler uh, electric uh, bicycle uh, pedal leg and uh, even sell it for 600 dollar whereas all this okay but that's later so now let's start with these different motors because uh, they are all uh, about the same weight, about the same size, here 36 uh, millimeters. You, uh, you can take up the rubber easily uh, and with this uh, screwdriver and with this one you can uh, remove the stator. Uh, where, but with the stator it really was very difficult because this you can already guess that's a 250 watt. I think this was the original one and it only has here uh, 20, uh, uh, 20 uh, millimeters um, height and also the magnets 25 uh, I, I, I guess uh, 2 or 2.5 millimeters in height and 20, uh, 20 millimeters long and uh, lots of space here so you see this is you can put it here whereas it's not no longer possible this is uh, I guess it's the most common one here with uh, lots of different uh, designs, uh, 350 watt, and it, it is 25 uh, millimeters, and that uh, looks to be already uh, 2.5 or 3, 3 millimeters in height. And uh, also uh, interesting to, to see this one here has uh, three in parallel. I think it's 0.3 uh, millimeters, and so three in parallel. I can already uh, hear this is four in parallel and this is five in parallel. So more current can flow um, through, through these motors or in other words, uh, the, the ohm resistance is less, which gives a better efficiency because the magnetic field, I think, I think the magnetic field is the same because it's a Lorentz force and it's a, the, the, the multiplication of the current with the length of the wire and so, so here you have a higher current but also you see it's only the same space inside so you, use the, the, you have less windings so the force is the same um, I, I guess but as I said uh, the, the, the copper resistance is a bit less and so that's the difference and here okay can already show you this this is really the, the most and I, I don't know, um, I, I've forgotten which, which uh, hoverboard, which, which brand uh, is, 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 uh, 
image and it has really 30 millimeters and it was really very very hard to, to get this, uh, this, this state of <coughs> out, out, out of this um, uh, box. So um, first idea was well yeah this might be more efficient because there's more space to, to the aluminium here outside and because I always am afraid especially with my uh, I, 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 I put uh, iron uh, disc uh, so other videos and so uh, I, I fear that the, here the, the magnetic flow will not go inside but will go uh, directly back uh, and so the, but I think aluminium is uh, does not uh, interact with magnetic fields at all so it may not be of any difference. Uh, these are well 35 millimeters, 35 millimeters and this is then 32 millimeters and only I think 9 millimeters in height because really here they they put a lot of uh, magnets and, and, and everything inside. The diameter I think here this is uh, outside diameter is 135 and, and it goes up to 126 and um, so they really they tweaked it uh, a bit here and there. I think the stato is always the same. As I said, just a different copper wire. Okay, that's that's enough for, for these motors. So now uh, out on the street um, to, to see um, the efficiency uh, of these three, three different motors. Yes. This is my test. Uh, efficiency test. This is a 250 watt motor. It's this is a 350 watt board, and so we have an on-off switch and uh, here the speed uh, on-off. Here we have this GPS, the speed. Uh, I decided to take big wheels, so the rolling resistance is as low as possible, and up the, up to where the car is, that's exactly 100 meters, and it's uh, three percent. It's uh, going uphill, so three meters. Now I can steer with my feet. So if I put here my, my, my feet there, then, then I can. <laughs> okay, and uh, so here, yeah, the battery is charged to full. And here to the right, you can see the ward. This is the amps, and here is the watt hours. That's the energy that is needed. So, well, let's see if this 250 watt motors can go uphill. Turn, turn the motor on. And here we have on, and so let's yeah. <laughs> 5.3 5 watt is, is no, it's just a controller. So let's see if. Careful, it's very difficult to, to, to drive exactly straight because the front wheel is so close to the back axis. Maximum watt here, amp hours, and here 4.3 watt hours. Uh, that's uh, and the board here. That's for, for watt peak 430 watt peak. So sec second run, and I just uh, calculated. You see, this is 12 kilogram in total, and, and me is let's say 66, so 68 kilograms. So it's 80 kilogram in total. And if uh, three meters up uphill, which is um, it looks like more, but if it would be three meter uphill, then it would be um, m times g times h, that would be uh, 2,400 uh, divided by 3,600. Uh, that would be 0.66 watt hours, and I just showed you that it, uh, the battery needed 
two or four point seven watt hours. So uh, that does not look to be very very efficient. So and and now we can go. Watt peak again four hundred thirty six and four point two watt hours. So that's the same. So now let's try a different motor. Now we have the the Ford 350 watt. And as a, first I will try to go uphill the same speed so that we can directly compare uh, the 350 with the 250. the energy yes yeah, 3.7 watt hours so this motor at the same speed is more efficient and now for the full speed this is 350 watts so let's see how fast I can go yes go So at faster speed, even less energy. Maximum peak was 434. That's not really different, but okay, that was the acceleration. But the 3.9 watt hour sets the energy. And here there's a maximum speed that was of interest. Okay, now I have to mount uh, the even bigger motor. That's full speed, cloud. So it's a bit less than uh, 3.9, I guess, from the at same speed. So now the final run with the uh, motor and, and, and full speed. So let's go. at maximum speed. Second try with the biggest motor and the Emanuel Peru firmware because I ran out of recording space. <laughs> so on and 
on. So again, uh, only um, 11 to 12 speed to, to compare with the previous motor. So yeah, let's go. It's definitely less noisy, super silent. And I, in the first run, I only made a three kilo, a three watt hour. So definitely more efficient. Uh, and I'm only at 75% uh, speed, so, okay. I have to brake slowly because the brake is faster here. So, so what's what hours? Uh, 2.8, let's see, 2.8 watt hours. <laughs> That's 30% uh, less or something. It's definitely better. So now for full speed, so let's go. And we have to take care. As I said, it's... Oh, no, 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 still not full speed. Uh, not, not, now that's for, for, for full speed. So 2.9, you see it's in incredible. Very, very efficient, very, very fast, super. And thanks to Emmanuel Ferrou, I think he's French, uh, because he, how, he told me how to disable uh, one motor, so I can use a firmware with only one motor. So very, very happy, happy greetings to France, I guess. Now the final test with these default 350 watt that have two 25 millimeter neodymium magnets inside. So power on. And this time's uh, all with full speed. So I think 40 kilometers was a 30 millimeter magnet. So now let's try the 25 millimeters and let's go. Now I'm at full speed. That's also 40 kilometers per hour. So that's nice. You do not really have to search for the high power. So energy. That's a three watt hour, so a little bit more. And I already guessed that um, the, those with the biggest magnets and the most uh, copper wires in parallel, this is the most efficient, but this motor is also very nice. <laughs> 